Guys, I have a special video for you all today. I'm gonna to tell you the best way to get good fish and good plants that are gonna live in your tank and stay healthy and won't die. All right, so if you guys haven't already guessed, I just got back from the fish club and we got a ton of cool stuff. We got some fish, we got some plants. Every single thing we got here was under retail value, which was really cool. And the other cool thing about buying from your local fish club is that all these plants and fish are grown in your local water, right? Since everybody in the fish club is near you, right? And so that means they're gonna be able to acclimate to my water a lot easier, which will minimize melt, minimize death, all of that. Um, and not only that, I was able to get some pretty rare plants, um, which I'm pretty excited about planting. So let me go ahead and show you what we have and how much we paid for everything. All right, so first we have some sword tails. Now these guys are really cool. They have the sword at the end of them. That's why they're called sword tails. And there are three of them in here, male and females. And guess how much I paid for them, right? You go to the store, they'll probably be like three to five dollars a piece. I got it for five dollars for the bag. Um, so really good deal. I'm gonna put them in this jar right here and kind of give a close up for you guys. So we have three beautiful swordfish here, sword tails. You can see the male right there with the long sword tail. These are the females. I can't wait to put this in the 75 gallon fish tank. Uh, to live with platies and the barbs and electric blue acaras. So these sword tails are going to make a great addition to the 75 gallon community tank. I'm going to let them acclimate to the water for a little bit. I'm slowly going to drip some water in there. And then in about 15, 20 minutes, I'm going to put them in uh, to see how they like their new home. They've been drip acclimating, so we're going to go ahead and put them in now. All right, you ready? There's the sword tail right there next to some platies. Oh, he looks great. Can I talk that? Yeah, what do you think of them? Good. They, they actually look perfect in this tank. Oh, I think so too. We have one of the females down there checking out the cryptocorin. We have another female right there. He's checking out the uh, tetra. The sword tail is hiding underneath that Amazon sword, but you can see how long its tail extends. The sword part of the tail. Oh. Uh, he's, a, he's a little stressed. I'm gonna go ahead and back away from the tank so he can acclimate in peace. All right guys, next we got a whole tub of Java moss. It came with the tub. Um, if you take a look, this thing is jam packed with Java moss. Just an absolute ton of Java moss. There's so much here. Look at all that Java moss. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the container so you can kind of see how much there actually is. Ho 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 ho! I shouldn't even put this in the container. There's just a ton. Guys, this is at least 20 to $30 worth of Java moss, which is insane. And I got it for free. Yes, you can get free plants, free fish at your local uh, fish club, because some people just, they have too much of it. Um, and they'll gladly give it to people who are gonna give it a good home. Next, we have some Cryptocorn de Witty, I believe is how it's pronounced, how it's labeled. Um, this person labeled there, so um, they have some pretty cool crypts. I have a few different species here. Let me go ahead and get it out of the container. So I got all of this for eight bucks. And this kind of crypt, you know, it's hard to find in your big box stores, it has a huge root system. And not only that, the best part about all these plants is that they were grown submerged, which means they're not gonna be any melting whenever I put it in the aquarium. All right, next up, I got some dwarf sag. Uh, this is a easy, great carpeting plant. So if you're looking for a low tech setup where you don't need an expensive light or CO2, and you're looking for a, uh, a plant that's easy to care for and carpets really quickly, oh, you wanna yeah. get dwarf sag. What do you think about the plant? It's so awesome. <laughs> um, but I paid $1 for this. So really great plant. Can't wait to use it in some of my tanks. So next we have uh, another cryptocorin um, species. This one isn't labeled, so I forgot the exact name, um, but it's green leaves. I love all the crypt species. Um, we're probably gonna put it in the farm tank, probably put all these in the farm tank until we figure out where we wanna put it. Uh, but this was three bucks. Normally you'll drop, you know, probably about 10 bucks if you can even find it in, in your stores. Um, normally you have to buy them online and then you have to pay shipping costs. Um, so really cool plant. Three bucks is what I paid for it. 
at the local fish club. Here's another one. This one's really cool. And there's an absolute ton of it. This is Cryptocorn Becchetti is what it's called. Um, and there's just a massive amount of it. This is probably like $30, $40 worth of crypt here. I got it for 12. Let's go ahead and open it so I can show you what it looks like. Guys, here is the Cryptocorn Becchetti, I think is how you pronounce it. There is a ton of it here. The leaves are huge. There's just a mass of it. And if I look at it, I can already see where I can propagate it at various points to turn this massive thing into like probably 10 or 12 different oh plants. My. And so this is gonna make a great addition to maybe the 75, maybe the 20, a new scape, I'm not sure, but a really cool looking plant. On oh, a little baby piece already came off. Look at that. We have some wasser tang. Uh, for those of you who don't know what some wasser tang is, it's kind of like, uh, it's essentially a freshwater macro algae. And so shrimp really love it, crab love it. It looks like moss, but if you feel it, it feels plasticky. And so it's actually a type of macro algae, um, kind of like seaweed. It's almost like seaweed, but for freshwater. And so this sawasser tank, really cool. I got a bag full of it for $2, right? This much would normally cost you $5 if you buy it at your local pet, at your local pet store. So this is what we got. We get all of this for like 30, 35 bucks. Um, plus the fish was close to 40. Um, retail, this would have cost you almost 100 bucks. And so we got a ton of plants and we even got a whole tub of java moss for free. I love it. Just so much java moss growing there. All right, guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and divide all these up and then we're gonna put them in the tank. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can propagate. This cryptic core in here, I think we'll just leave them as one and we'll just plant them as is. So we'll plant him in a minute. This one here can definitely be propagated, probably turned into two um, at a minimum. So let me show you guys how I propagate. Um, maybe even three or four. I see some tiny runners right here. So let me go ahead and get my scissors out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this kind of pulled apart. And you see we have the main plant, so this will be one. We have another little guy that's just like two, but he has his own root system down here. So this will be two. And then we have another little guy that has his little root system. That'll be three. Okay, B. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to propagate cryptocorn. So here's our crypt here. And then essentially it has a runner with its own um, roots down here. Cut the roots, cut the runner. And what we're left with is a little guy with just a little bit of roots. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna have the roots too long because if they are really long, um, you do wanna trim them a bit just to stimulate root growth so they start growing good and healthy in your tank. So here's one, we're gonna put them over here. We can see how many we get out of this. Now here's the other one. This is the bigger one, but it did have another little guy. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna cut. And then we have another little guy. So this guy's already making his own root system, as you can see. So this one will start growing in no time once it gets some good soil or being some kind of good active substrate. And then obviously this is one, probably not gonna divide him up any further. I'll just trim off what it has here to make it about half that size. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this one over there. This is a nice looking look at it. Has some crinkle to the leaves. Um, this is a really beautiful cryptocorn. Doesn't have the long sword-like leaves. Instead, it's kind of oval-like. I really like the look of this one. Um, and it looks very healthy. No holes, no yellowing. I really like it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get these inside the tank and see how everything looks once it's in. All right, so here is the Paldarium with the two red claw crabs. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the subwasser tank in here because it doesn't need a whole lot of light. I put it probably right down there in that dark section and it's gonna grow just fine with no, with hardly any light. Now you plant subwasser tank just like you would moss. It, it could just kind of float around or you attach it to wood, but I'm just gonna stick it down there and it's just gonna hang out by itself. Really good for like rice fish or any like egg layers so that their babies can kind of raise up and grow within this. Uh, definitely love this stuff. What 
I'll probably do over here, I'm probably gonna plant those uh, cryptocorn right in this area back here where my other crypts are. And I'm just gonna have its own cryptocorn forest. So there'll be an Amazon forest back there and a cryptocorn forest just right up here. Um, so I'm gonna all plant it kind of close together and it just have a really like miniature forest effect. Um, I think it's gonna look very good. All right, the cryptocorn jungle is up. It's looking kind of messy right now, but give it a couple weeks to where all the leaves start going upwards to where the light is and it's gonna look very good. Uh, so definitely wanna give you guys an update. I'm excited about how this is gonna turn out. Almost forgot, I wanna put the dwarf sag right here in the front and we'll see if we can get like um, like a low tech carpet look going along this 75 gallon. Is it just me or does a little bit of dwarf sag, these little grass popping out just look really great? I think that's as it grows over time, it's gonna look amazing. Now it's kind of cloudy because I've been stirring up all the substrate, but the only thing I'm concerned about is the crypt is gonna develop a good root system so that the electric blue carriers won't pull it out. But these dwarf sag, the electric blue carrier may pull up those, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that. All right, so the rest of the baby cryptocorn, they are going into the farm tank here. Now, I haven't given you guys an update yet, so I'm in the middle of making a video for that, so you guys are actually getting a sneak peek. Um, but there's actually a few uh, new additions. I have three of the red garas in here. Now, they're actually gray, so I don't know why they're called red garas. I think their tail may get a little red. Um, but these are the doctor fish, so these are really great algae eaters. They're gonna outgrow this tank. They get about, you know, about this big, and that'll be too big for the tank. Once they get a bigger size, they're gonna go in the 75 gallon. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and plant all the cryptocorn in here right now um, and just let it grow out because there's a good bit of dirt in the substrate down there. All right, so I went ahead and put the smaller crypts in the farm tank and I also put some down there in the germination bins just to grow out some more. Have a lot of stuff growing here uh, for future projects. All right, guys, we got everything planted. We got the fish in there. The cryptocorn jungle is looking like a hot mess, but give it a couple weeks once the leaves perk up in the right direction and they're all doing what they should be doing, it's gonna look really nice. Trust the process. I can't wait to update you guys in a couple weeks and hopefully in about a month or so, the dwarf sag will kind of carpet the bottom um, of that front section and you're just gonna look very beautiful. Um, my only concern is, are the electric blue is gonna pull them up or not? So we'll, we'll, we'll see uh, here soon. Um, and also I wanna shout out these two people right here and here um, for hating on the way I drink coffee. So in every video going forward, there's gonna be a little Easter egg. There's gonna be a milked up coffee um, somewhere in the background, somewhere in the video. Uh, point it out if you see it. Uh, and I'll be sure to give you a shout out. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Join a local club, you'll get great deals. Really cool fish that you've never heard of. Um, and you won't be disappointed. Until next time, guys. See ya.